Welcome back. Uh, we're going to continue playing 10 minute games on Shogi Wars. Uh, we're continuing to play Third File Rook as we've been doing recently. That seems to be the plan. Maybe I should have more than one plan. Maybe sometimes I want to play Opposing or Fourth File, but in general I've been playing Third File here as I've been playing Third File also on 81 Dojo. Um, maybe I, for a while on this site I was playing Central File Rook and getting strange results. Um, anyway, good luck. All right, we go first. Wow, okay. Our game has started. Jesus. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. We got a game on our hands here. Um. Hmm. Hmm. What the hell do I play against this? This is a unique strategy. Um. All right. Let's expand this side. Move the king over one, and then maybe push on this side if their king indicates that they're castling this way. This is what I was concerned about. I don't know how to counter that. Um, I assume this is okay, but I have no idea. Alright. So we're going to borrow an idea that we just saw from reviewing a recent game. And that is, take Vanguard Pawns. Vanguard Pawns are cool. Um, I just made this pawn super vulnerable here. Uh, okay, well, we've taken another Vanguard Pawn. But, um, possibly my move order is extremely suspect. This pawn in front of the bishop's loose if they were to, like, well, they can't possibly move the gold and the silver away from this. There's no way I could actually collect this with my rook, but it'd be cool to imagine I could. Um. Oh, goodness. I could consider pushing this and swinging the rook over here to hit this. Um. I could imagine that. It's not going to happen. So, now that we've taken these Vanguard Pawns, what do we do? <laughs> um, hmm. Hmm, I'm so confused. Because I see this silver approaching my rook, and I'm like, well, what the hell do I do about that? Um... Maybe this is what I do? I don't know. Um... Seems risky. But then we could bring the knight out. The other thing I was considering doing is maybe putting the bishop on the edge of the board, and I just didn't want to do that. Right. So we have knight, pawn, rook, bishop, all assembled in one spot. Uh, the problem is that this formation quickly collapses against any amount of pressure. So, yeah. Possibly I did not play this correctly. Um, hmm. 
very possibly I did not play this correctly. Oh. Okay, there's the pressure. I was searching for, like, how does he break this? Now we know. All right, that is pretty obvious. Um, Nanaf. Yeah, time is the least of my worries here. All right, well, we have broken our own formation because I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, Mm-hmm. All right, let's just continue. Uh, yeah, so for those curious about the comment at the bottom of the screen, uh, at the very beginning of this live stream, we were talking about, like, I was thinking I should study something to prepare somehow for my teaching ladder game. Um, but yeah, preparing for very seasoned opponents um, seems like an impossible task, particularly if I can't even get something like this right. Um, all right, so... I don't know what I'm doing. I'm trying to create some pressure over on the side of the board. Uh, we've got them to move their rook diagonally. My king is a sitting duck. They can place a bishop to hit my rook. Uh, they don't for some reason because they have a stronger attack in mind. Seems to be the reason. Um, well... Hmm... How crazy am I? All right, now if I do a bishop or silver drop here, nothing positive results from that. I can fantasize about it, but it's not going to end well. Um, go for me. On the other hand, maybe this might end with something positive. Although it's risky. Um, what was I thinking? I was thinking pawn up knight takes. Which is very flawed thinking. But, um... Yeah, at this point... This is not going well. This is not going well. Okay, I did not anticipate that. Um, hmm. Well, let's take ourselves a bishop and pray that things will be okay. Um... Seems reasonable, right? Gosh, where can the bishop go? Let's put one here. If they drop a gold general to block, we could pawn drop, and they, I guess they have bishop takes. Um, this might not have been a very good square. Yeah, I don't know. 
Also, if they just take my gold general thing... Well, they can't do it right now, but it's very hard for me to prevent that from eventually occurring here. Um, on the other hand... Jeez. Okay, well, this is messy. Um... Okay. Uh, my generals protect each other. Forget my king. Do I need a king this game? Why is the king so important? Alright. Um. Mm -hmm. So they promote. That's fine. Okay, we're going to aim at the head of this mess. And try to stir up some kind of an attack. Okay. Our rook is Stop. definitely loose. Um, hmm, don't understand. Nifun Sanjibio. I still don't understand. I'm starting to understand now. Okay. Um... This is me just giving them a free rook, isn't it? Mm -hmm. No, not necessarily. Um, okay, back we go, apparently. Okay, let's take one of those. And hopefully have an attack. Because uh, we're running out of pieces. That's crazy, but, like, I'm just not seeing anything here. Um... Hmm, I guess that makes a target for them to strike at. Hmm. Okay. Ippun. Yeah. What to do? Um. 
Wait, they're threatening mate in one. I can't just ignore it. I can't success. Oh my god, I put it in the wrong place. <laughs> I meant to put it back here. Uh, well, that's game. Yeah, thanks for the game. <laughs> uh, like I said, I was. I thought about Bishop drop back here, which could have maybe been slightly interesting, but not really. Okay, yeah, let's let's play another game though. Sorry, I've had such an emotional reaction there. <laughs> That's not normal of me. It's becoming normal. It shouldn't be normal. I saw the mate. I'm like, I could put the bishop back here. Just okay. Thanks for the game, by the way. And good luck. Okay. Entirely sober Shogi Wars. Uh, okay, let's just close this before I mess this up again. Interesting. Um, hmm. We're going to play third file rook, or at least attempt to. Um, get our king slightly out of danger here. Um, discourage the silver from coming out this way. Okay. Wow, we are playing with fire this week. Okay, this bishop is loose. So if there's a timing for me to provoke an exchange, it's now. But I don't want to. Just want a nice calm game for once. Um, so we defend and put pressure on this edge. And I don't know where my pieces are going to go next. We can just build up a nice, strong castle while nothing happens. Um, if nothing continues to happen. So this pawn is loose. Uh, okay. Wow, so many weaknesses. So many weaknesses. Um, Jeez, what the heck? Let's put a rook on an active square. Yeah, this bishop move is the middle of some kind of a transition in their castle. Uh, okay, apparently we're playing two different games here today. Um, I think I'm quite okay with this game, too. <sighs> what in the world are we playing? Um, okay, let's just take this. I don't understand what game this is. Uh, it's some kind of shogi, but like, I don't know. Okay. Um, am I allowing a bishop drop somewhere and I'm just not seeing it? Um, maybe. I thought I had every bishop drop covered. Maybe I've missed one.
right. I guess we might exchange some stuff. Hang on, I don't need to drop anything here. Well, it doesn't hurt me to drop anything. Let's put a pawn there. If they absolutely insist on a pawn exchange, we can do that. And then I fork their pieces. Um, So this bishop is temporarily loose. Go food. We've defended against many bishop drops. some point we have to attack. And it's going to be such a boring attack because we're just going to win a piece. Um, in fact, no, just bullying this bishop is better than winning it. Um, So we hit the knight again. They are going to get their rook promoted. That's okay. Because we'll get something out of all of this. That's a clever fork. All right. Go ahead. You can have my bishop too. Why not? How much of my pie how many of my pieces do you want to take today? How many do you want? Alright, we've been a bit generous here. Uh it was my assumption that somehow this would pay off. Um that like their position must have some weakness as I panic. Um. Something. It's a powerful attack. 
puts my attacks to shame. Um, Okay, Rook's not going to do me any good. Kind of a miracle that I'm not already checkmated. Oh! Oh, wow. That is clever. All right, two games in a row. Let's do one more. <laughs> ah, this is what we're here for. The Shogi Wars Insanity. Wow, Maiden won. Didn't even see it. But thank you for the game. I promise I was trying. I'm just getting very excited about the time situation. Good luck. Uh, all right, let's play Central File Rook if we can manage to find time to play it. Um, if we can manage. I'm not sure if we can. Um, interesting already. All right, let's play a unique strategy. Um... Sure, why not? This is possibly not the most accurate way to play this opening. Um, yeah, all the way back. So my king might take up residence somewhere else. I guess that's the idea. Um, I could do another pawn drop on 5-5 five five or 5-4 five or something. But my king really doesn't belong where it's at. Um, hmm. Well, we're already playing with fire. It's so tempting to do knight takes here. Knight takes is absolutely not right. Let's take this way. Ah, uh, yes. We're in trouble. Um, okay. How much trouble are we in? Well, time will tell. Um... Yeah, it looks like they're one tempo ahead if they were to, like, promote and then take the knight and the lance and all that. I could have missed something enormous, but I prefer their position here, in case that's not clear. But, um... Mm. Alright, what am I doing? I'm not sure. Trying to protect against a rook drop. Um. Hmm. 
Now I'm trying to find some balance between attack and defense, because we seem to sorely be lacking that kind of balance at the moment. Um... Let's pull this back. I might need it. I'm debating Lance Drop and Lance Takes Knight. Uh, that would have been a much more aggressive way to play this position. It seemed uncalled for, given how risky this already looks. Um, this simply wins a silver. I mean, I say it's simple, it's not entirely trivial, but um, I am winning a silver general here. Because uh, this rook cannot promote. Because I have a lance I can drop that would prevent the rook from promoting. So we've collected a silver. They still have the rook that they got from earlier. Um, hmm. <laughs> we don't have to give away the silver for nothing. Um, Well, that's a good point. It's slow, but it is a threat. Um... Let's run with the king before it's too late. Um, oh, I was considering here, but the center might be better. I don't know. No, this is slightly more aggressive. So my king has done some light jogging here. I'd prefer to have the edge pawn pushed. But I can't always have what I want. But maybe I really, really, really need it this time. Um, I'm not sure. Let's stop this rook again from promoting. Yeah, given more time, I would consider just trying to break down the castle at this point. But we need to stop this rook promotion because my king is so exposed. Okay, but I can still take that. Rather, oh, there's so many things I can take. Let's take this one first. And then... Good gravy. Then I think we have to take this next. Yeah, a horse is an excellent defensive piece. It's not the best offensive piece, although it can be useful. But it's better at defense than offense. So we're going to keep that close to my king. Instead of going on some wild attacking spree that probably would run out. Uh, we're just going to be a little patient. And try not to give away too many pieces. So I've, I'm trying to protect against them dropping a rook on my head. Um, I 
Here, would you care for another pawn? I guess that's a no. Um, how do I surround this king? Man, this king surround is tricky for me. Um, I think this is the best way I can continue. Considering doing various, like promoting this pawn immediately looks interesting, but probably not interesting enough. Um, hmm, a free move. Okay. Um, Let's try to prevent this king from escaping. Actually, that's checkmate, isn't it? Right. Um, I mean, it looks awfully checkmatey to me. Um... Something. I'm so confused. I don't see a disadvantage to this check. I'm looking, but I just don't see a disadvantage. And then we continue attacking this way. Old mate in five. I couldn't find it. I tried, damn it. But then he said Sanju Byo. I'm like, okay, fine, we'll try something. But I missed the mate in five. <sighs> Wherever it was. Yeah. This is why you don't want to miss mates. Because this position gets harder. <laughs> gets harder and harder to find a checkmate if you miss one.
1分30秒1分。I have two golds. This is a mate threat. Thirty seconds. Twenty seconds. This is so sad. This is the saddest checkmate ever. Assuming I succeed. Jubio. Thanks for the game. I am so sorry to everybody who watched that and to my opponent, but thank you for this game. I was doing the best I could. I need practice.
Uh, whew, well, that was exciting. Yeah, no, I, uh, again, I apologize. That was not like anything you'll find anywhere else. Um, so it, it can't be correct. So I'm sorry about that. But thank you to my opponent for this game. Uh, I have much practice to do. In case it's not clear. Um, so yeah, this weekend we'll have some games in the teaching ladder. Uh, we'll have, sometime soon, we'll have another tourney to master game. Um, at some point I'll have to practice some more sume because like, clearly there's something about it that I just did not click today. Again, I apologize for that. Hope that's okay. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time.